everyone. My name is Dr. Cindy Jordan, and welcome to our three-part session on peace. We're so happy that you have joined us today. We are going to embark upon a three-segment session on discovering what does the Bible say about peace and how we can use that knowledge in our own personal life as we journey through some hills and valleys, some ups and downs. So would you join me as we embark on a study on peace? We are going places with Jesus Ministries. And if you like what you hear in this video and in the upcoming videos, we invite you to subscribe. Please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. We're so happy that you've joined us today. So for our first discussion, or session one, we would say, on our devotional on peace, I want to talk to us today about why is peace important? Why do we need peace? And what is peace? Peace is one of those attributes in life, one of those treasures, one of those gifts in life that we all need, regardless of any other determining characteristics, whether we are tall, short, rich, poor, whether we have high educational stature or may not, no matter what walk of life that you are in or whether I am in, we all need peace. We all crave peace. We desire for peace as we wake in the morning, and as we lay our heads at night. Peace in our own lives, peace in our community, our countries, and in our world, especially now, when peace seems to be fading away, we are trying to grasp at peace. The peace of God is a needed fruit. It's a fruit that we consume and that we gain all the nutrients that come out of this fruit to navigate us to some very challenging times. The scripture says in Galatians 5, verses 22 to 23, it tells us, the spirit produces love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, fruitfulness, humility, and self-control. So peace is a fruit of the Spirit. When I began to think about what is peace and why do we crave peace, I realized that peace has a purpose. The Spirit produces peace, and anything that the Spirit produces has a purpose. Hmm. The Spirit, what is the Spirit we're talking about? The Holy Spirit produces peace. And anything the Spirit produces has a purpose. There is purpose in peace. That's why we all crave it. That's all why we desire it. There is purpose in peace. Peace is not just a state of mind. It's not temporary. It's not fleeting. It's not just a tranquil place. It's not just a beach somewhere with the ocean breeze, just wishing across our face. Peace is not just a no worries zone. Peace is a fruit, a fruit of the spirit that has a place and a purpose in our lives. It is functional because it's purposeful. Peace is alive. I have experienced the, the purpose of peace as I navigate my life, both spiritually and in the natural. It steers me away from confusion and deception and leads me to the perfect will of God for my life. How do I know that there is purpose in something that I'm facing? Whether it's good, bad, or indifferent. When I begin to discover what that purpose is, I 
always find if there is peace or not. And if I find peace in a situation, I know that there is a purpose led by the Spirit of God for my life. God's peace resides. It dwells. It settles in a place where we can find God's purpose in that situation. Ever wondered what is God's will? What is the purpose in what I'm facing in this situation, in this scenario? What is the purpose? Can you find peace in that, in that place? Can you put your thumb on peace, the fruit of the Spirit? If you can find peace, if you keep looking, there is purpose waiting to be revealed. Well, I've learned that sometimes it isn't always obvious what the purpose of God is and is in a particular situation. So what I find to work for me, I look for peace first, and then God's will reveals itself right where peace is found. So how do we apply the peace of God to our life? I want to invite you as you go through your day or night or whenever you're looking at this video, let the peace of God be revealed. Let the purpose of peace be revealed in that very situation. There are many decisions to be made, many questions to be answered. Time is ticking. People are waiting, deadlines to meet. So many, so many things pushing and pulling us to and fro from peace. Exhale. Step back and let God's peace lead you. And as God's peace leads you, you will find a God-sized purpose waiting to be revealed. Let us pray. Lord, we seek your peace. Lead us into your purpose for our lives. Help us not to rush into making decisions without your peaceful purpose being revealed. Help us to wait as your peace leads and directs us into your perfect will for our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. And that concludes our first segment on peace. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being a part of our family here at Going Places with Jesus Ministries. We welcome you to be a part of our community where we are just a bunch of people navigating life through the leading of the Holy Spirit. And we use the scripture as our navigation tool. And so we invite you to like this video please subscribe. And if you want more information about who we are and more information about the peace of God, would you reach out to us? All of our information is in the description below. Again, I am Dr. Cindy Jordan, and you are joining us here at Going Places with Jesus Ministries. Until next time, walk in the peace of God. Shalom. Shalom.